Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see what is plasma and what is serum. Before seeing about plasma and serum, we'll see what is blood and also about its composition. Blood. Blood is a constantly circulating specialized body fluid in humans and other animals. Blood takes oxygen from the lungs to the cells of the body and it takes carbon dioxide from the body's cells to the lungs where it is breathed out. Blood also supplies other essential substances around the body and transports metabolic waste products away from cells. Composition of blood. Blood has four main components. Plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Plasma is the liquid component of blood in which the RBCs, WBCs and platelets are suspended. Plasma is mainly made from water and also contains many different proteins and other chemicals such as hormones, antibodies, enzymes, glucose, fat particles, salts, etc. We learnt what is blood and plasma. Next, we'll see what is fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is a soluble protein made in the liver that circulates in the blood of all vertebrates. When blood clotting is activated, fibrinogen is converted to fibrin, which in turn helps to form a blood clot. Most laboratory testing for clinical purposes is done on samples obtained from blood. Let's see how to separate plasma from blood. Plasma can be separated from a whole blood sample by centrifuging the blood by adding the anticoagulating agent. Common anticoagulating agents are EDTA, heparin and citrate which prevent clot formation. Centrifugation separates the blood components by its weight, size and density. Blood components will get divided into three parts. The lowermost part is known as RBC, layer above that is WBC and platelets and the topmost layer consists of plasma and is of yellow color. Next we'll see how to separate serum. If we do not add any anticoagulant and allow the blood to clot by keeping it for 15 to 30 minutes at room temperature. When the blood has clotted completely, we have to subject it to centrifugation. After centrifugation, the upper layer which is obtained is serum and the layer which got settled at the bottom is the clotted blood. Difference between plasma and serum. Plasma is that part of the blood which contains blood clotting agent called as fibrinogen because we added anticoagulating agent which prevents the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin while serum is the fluid part of the blood and does not contain fibrinogen because fibrinogen is converted to fibrin which in turn helps to form a blood clot. Uses of serum and plasma. Serum is mostly used in various diagnostic tests and blood typing. Plasma is mostly used to treat people with immune deficiencies or bleeding disorders. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.